Ever wondered what would happen if I press this button whilst driving? In today's video, I'm going to show you just that in this BMW E90 2010 model. Okay, so I'm currently in a BMW, 2010 BMW E90. I'm doing 60 kph and I'm going to press the button now. And nothing seems to happen. Okay, so let's drop that speed to 50. Nothing. Let's drop the speed to 40. Still nothing. We are currently doing 20 kph. If I press the button, nothing happens. It still stays on. Okay, so that's obviously a good thing that the car won't switch off if you press the button uh, once. That's a good thing, obviously. Uh, but I just realized now that it will switch off if you press and hold it or if you press it twice, like tap it twice. Um, I think they engineered that on purpose just in case you have to switch the car off. Uh, let's say you see a fire or whatever the case may be, or even an engine light or something. Like, I know with me, if I see a warning light on the dash, straight away I switch it off. So I think that's quite good as well. Okay, so let me demonstrate that, but this time I'm going to be in neutral just in case. Okay, so I'm doing 60. Hope you guys can see that. Double tap. There you go, switched off. Let me start it again. So you saw it switched off with a double tap. It will also switch off if you press and hold it. Again in neutral, press and hold, switched off. The handbrake light is on, but don't worry, the handbrake isn't up. Okay, so for those of you who wanted to know what would happen if you press the button or the start-stop button while you're driving, well, the answer is nothing. Absolutely nothing will happen. However, if you press and hold it or if you double tap it, then it will turn off the engine. Um, so guys, just be careful and please don't try this at home. Double tap. 